The new Neural Engine in Resolve 16 allows you to retime your clips that look like this to this. Let's see how to do this in Resolve. Okay, so I've got a clip here that's a 60 frames per second clip and I've got it on a 29.97 frames per second timeline and I've actually gone in and retimed it to 5% of speed uh, which equates to about 1.5 frames per second on the timeline. So I'm going to go through the four, at least four different uh, methods you can use uh, for the retiming. Um, those methods are nearest frame blend and optical flow. And I'm going to compare two optical flow uh, parameters, uh, one which was the standard one we've had uh, in the previous versions of Resolve, and then the new speed warp. So I'm going to play through this, and then we'll go from there, and then we'll uh, talk about the pros and cons of each. Okay, so one of the key things I noticed here, obviously the new optical flow, if I, if I click on this here, you'll see it's optical flow and then you select speed warp. It really eliminates the ghosting effect that is either in the frame blend mode here. As you look closely, you can see the, the ghosting effect and it even shows up in the optical flow, or at least the original one we had, where you could kind of still see it. If you look at his feet here, you see that, that ghosting. Now we don't have that with the new speed warp, but one of the negatives is if you notice closely, if you zoom in, you'll see it's a little softer, just a tad softer than before. So if I zoom in here, you see that's a little sharper, just a little bit, even though you've got the ghosting. And so it's a little less sharp here. So that's really the only thing, only negative in most uh, clips that you're going to have to, that you're going to try to retime uh, to something that small, you're probably not going to, um, it's probably not going to be a big deal to sacrifice a little softness where you can add some of that back in, or if the shot is closer, uh, perhaps it, it won't be much of an effect. So uh, that's something that's cool, uh, something I really appreciated about the new optical flow speed warp uh, motion estimation. It is very GPU intensive, so I'd highly recommend that you, uh, when you put it on your timeline, you, you render the cache uh, so that you can play it smoothly. So with that, if you've got any questions, please leave a, a note below. Otherwise. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.